And this one's going to be lobbed up. Somehow got through the scoreboard in the rafters here at Buccaneer Arena. No stoppage because it didn't hit anything. And the Bucs are able to get it first. And here they come. Here's Sigurdsson. He'll fire from the near side. Going to be saved by Pash. He's been up to the task so far. Here in the neutral zone, here's Braden Roar. Omaha caught on a change. Nice pass to Bartle. His shot was low and pad save with the right leg. Far work takes it away. And then he's knocked off the puck, but Bartle's got it. Has time and space. It's still loose on the rebound. And jumping on it. Skating around and trying to find an avenue to get the puck back to the neutral zone. And he does. Kusler and Sigurdsson collide. Puck loose. And retrieved in the Omaha zone by the Lanterns. Here's Salici now in the offensive zone. Cross-size pass, a good one. Great save with the toe by Lundgren, and then he'll glove the rebound. Cycle through. Montgomery goes into the left circle, gets it right back. And a shed that he's playing catch with to the near side. Slap shot one-timer that time. No go this time. Omaha's got it, but it's taken away. Joe Grammer plays it off the board looking for Kosis, but Salici cuts it off. Sigurdsson checks him, takes it away. Here's a three-on-two for the Bucks quickly. Here is Kosis with some room, a blocker saved by Bash. Best one of the night so far. On the far side boards in the corner. Could take a weird hop and be back in play. Huge hit by Morell looking for Ospovich, but ended up getting mostly glass. 12.40 to go in the second, still scoreless. Here's an opportunity, Morell blocked. Great job by Lundgren. It was a nice pass on the setup as well. It'll be one by Varwick. Van Royen will gather. And again, it takes a weird hop off those boards in that far corner. Lundgren will come out of his net and play it around. It's going to be dangerous on any puck played around those boards in case it takes a weird hop. So you're just going to have to keep an eye on that throughout the rest of this game, and especially this period. Is this one going to be saved off a tough angle? And Bartle puts it in on the rebound. Tough luck for Pash. But Henry Bartle makes no mistake. Tough angle on the near side. Put it they passed him up against the top of the net, and the Buccaneers indeed deuced him the time. They score it first and lead it one to nothing. Still in play and then taken away. Back and forth we go. Borazinskis will kick it into the zone. Still loose. Finally, Bevelock will get his change and it will be Owen West coming on. 30 seconds left on the power play. Here's West. Cross eyes. Sternberg. Time and space. Looks to put it in. And he does the wrister. Gustav Sternberg. 2-0 Bucks. This is Charlie Lurie back to the blue line. Going to be a stick save after Shed fired it from the blue line all the way along the ice. Not a lot of velocity on it. Here's Lurie back into the zone. But it's knocked away and taken out by Sigurdsson. A 3-on-2 here for the Bucks. Here's Kosis. A 4-on-2 if they hurry. Here is Mole down. He'll fire it in his score! What a shot on the rush by Joey Mole Downey. His 15th of the season in the Bucks lead by three. Great rush. Led out by Tan Talon Sigurdsson. Pino was the fourth guy who really hustled to get in on the play and join the rush. Omaha late getting extra bodies back. His 11th assist of the season, but it was a team effort on the rush and really putting him in a bad spot. Here's Bartle again on the leak out, pass to himself off the boards. Bartle tried to centering pass through traffic. The rebound, little in and out by Barwork, can't get a shot off. This shot is blocked on the helper from Rourke. Entry, but they want a full change, so they'll just let it go, and the Bucks will get it with Van Royen. Van Royen turns it over to Salici, though. Salici back in the zone quickly. Looks for a centering pass. He finds it. Shot on net by Kuzler. And then Kuzler from an impossible angle. And maybe Salici from behind the goal banks it off of the backside of Lundgren on the rebound. And Vinny Salici, indeed, in his return to Buccaneer Arena. He's played several games here since the trade last year. But he does indeed get a goal and get Omaha some life here. Loses his balance as he tries to pass it down underneath to Muldowney. Bucks get it back in the neutral zone, but they'll skate backwards with it. And then a turnover, Bevilacqua. Cruz has got it. Cruz, he'll shoot it. Knocked down by Lundgren. Still in front. The rebound was wide. Yeah, every rung up the ladder you can get, the better your odds are of being able to fend off those teams behind you. Got to take it one game at a time. 
Fulton, though, and with the 3-1 lead, you'd like to finish this one up, get your two points, and prepare for Fargo tomorrow. Turnover in the neutral zone, and a whipping shot by Asta Povic! Out of nothing, a turnover in the Des Moines offensive zone. Asta Povic gets it, whirls around, and fires a shot, beats Pash, and it's 4-1 Bucks. Second of the season for the Merrimack commit. Ostapovic restores the three goal lead with 7.29 to go. You feel bad for Patch because he has played well most of this game. He's made some great saves, but the Bucks have really gotten to him in the last couple of periods. Braden Ford is going to get awarded an assist as part of that play and the goal from the blue line. This takes a weird bounce and somehow skirts past the toe of. Lundgren and in. A lot of contact in the crease. I'm not sure who's going to get credit for that one, but it slowed up because of a deflection and somehow rolled in off the post. So Omaha wastes little time in getting one back and keeps them alive in this game. One going to be rung around to the far side shed. Can't keep it in. 20 seconds left, and that should just about do it. Montgomery, kitty corner entry. Let's have a lock all the way downhill. Fire. It's just wide. Ford is the first man there, and he will dump it in for the last and final goal of the night. Omaha, I think, kind of conceded the fact that they weren't going to get to the puck. They just kind of watched Bevilacqua fire it down. But because Ford had played it well, he was the first man there, no icing on the play, and he still ended up with plenty of time to grab it, pull it back in front of the net, and dunk it in before the check comes. Braden Ford gets the empty netter and it makes it 5-2 bucks. For Braden Ford, a good offensive night. That's his fourth goal of the season. Been light on the points this season for uh, Ford, but he's going to get an assist and he's going to get a goal on the night's action. Both coming in this third period. And there's the buzzer after the faceoff, and the Bucks indeed get the two points they wanted against Omaha. They improve to 17, 18, 5, and 3 overall, but a very, very strong 13, 6, 1, and 1 here at the Madhouse on Hickman. 